direct attack on us here in 9-11. And also with the term war, people tend to think in terms of it comes to an end at some point. There's an armistice on the north of the USS Missouri. There's a Treaty of Versailles. There's the last helicopter taking off from the embassy in Saigon. I don't see any definitive end to this war today. I don't know about you. I don't see any way to bring today's terrorism to a real definitive conclusion. The point I'd like to make on this is that we should not be looking for some cataclysmic event like killing Osama bin Laden or Iraq turning into a genuine democracy to signal victory. Extirpating terrorists is going to be, I think, impossible. And yet, I believe that we will bring terrorism under control. We'll begin to win, <clears throat> wear it down to the point where it becomes a nuisance rather than a threat to our society. And this is the record of terrorism over history. It comes in waves. It builds up, it crests at the top, and like a sine curve, it drops off steeply. Why does it drop off? It drops off usually because the societies that are infected by the terrorists get too fed up and they close in on them. And they make it too difficult for the terrorists to operate, too costly. As far as how did I shift from being a good, clean living naval officer to being our nation's chief spook? It isn't a normal course of events. And as a matter of fact, I wasn't even President Carter's Carter sold for 10, 12 days. And he woke up in the middle of the night and wrote on the notepad by his table, bedside table, Stan Turner. Bosom was the first up in the morning. He looked at the pad and he said, Jimmy, what do you have in mind for Stan Turner? I can't remember. <laughs> he remembered later in the day. I was called into the old office the next day. And uh, told I was going to be a chief of intelligence rather than an admiral. Now I want you to understand that in those 12 days in between Sorensen and Turner, he searched the whole country for the most qualified man or woman around. He came up with me, of course. The fact that he and I were classmates at Annapolis had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Funny how your life can be changed. 